A deadlock is continuing at the UN Security Council over whether to extend a chemical weapons investigation in Syria. Russia has just vetoed a draft resolution put forward by Japan. Uh, Caleb Morpin is in New York following these discussions. Uh, Caleb, a bit of a deja vu, I uh, guess, here just 24 hours ago. Uh, similar situation, uh, similar result, I guess. Yes. Now, Japan had brought forward a resolution to the Security Council that would have extended the work of the investigative mechanism of the Organization for Prohibition of Chemical Weapons in Syria. Um, it would have extended their investigation for another 30 days. Um, however, uh, the vote was taken. Uh, Russia and Bolivia voted against it. And because Russia is a member, a permanent member of the Security Council and a founder of, of the Security Council, uh, they, they blocked the resolution. Now, not surprisingly, Nikki Haley then took to the floor and blasted against Russia. This is Nikki Haley. As we have long suspected, Russia does not now and has never had any intention of making this time productive for this council and the international community. Russia's veto, its second in 24 hours, shows us that Russia has no interest in finding common ground with the rest of this council to save the gym. Indeed, from the very beginning, Russia has not negotiated with any of us. Russia has just dictated and demanded. Now, when she was speaking on Thursday, Nikki Haley said that she had reached out to, to Russia and was unable to talk to them about negotiating a resolution that was agreeable to both the United States and Russia. She made this claim on the floor of the Security Council. However, earlier on Friday, we actually heard from Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov. He says that what she's saying is simply inaccurate, that she, she was not reaching out to the, the Russian foreign ministry, to the Russian mission to the UN. Uh, she was simply not doing that. This is Russia's foreign minister, Sergei Lavrov, and then a response to his comments from Heather Nauert of the U.S. State Department. Ms. Haley, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, has claimed that all her recent attempts to reach our representative, Vasily Nebenzia, to discuss a common text for a draft resolution have failed. That's a total lie. I guess it means we have a new phenomenon in international relations. Not only do we have fake news, we also now have fake diplomacy. This is a, another matter where, um, you know, a world leader, a top official will say something that's outrageous, ridiculous, and try to get us to comment on it, and I'm not going to comment on that. Now, at this point, uh, you know, we are all looking back on the meeting that happened on Thursday. Now, that was a heated meeting in the halls of the UN Security Council. A lot of harsh allegations were leveled against Russia as well as against Bolivia. Um, and then in response, we heard some angry words from Russia and from Bolivia in response to accusations. So it was quite a heated meeting that took place Thursday in the UN Security Council chamber when it came to debate about investigating chemical weapons in Syria. Now, this is a highlight. These are just a few highlights from that rather heated meeting that took place on Thursday. Russia has acted to obstruct these investigations. Russia is being blamed for everything as usual. Russia had hoped to bury the truth. They are trying to disparage our country. Russia has played games. Russia is not playing games. You are trying to play games with us. Russia wants a mechanism, but not an independent one. We protest against this blatant unprofessionalism. Russia has killed the joint investigative mechanism. Those who voted against Russia's draft resolution are responsible for the fact that the joint investigative mechanism will stop operating. Now, Russia has made clear since the beginning of this debate that they are in favor of continuing to investigate chemical weapons in Syria. They just don't approve of the sloppy manner in which the OPCW has been conducting their recent investigations. They blamed an entire government, the Syrian Arab Republic, without specifying which individuals uh, they allege carried out the attack. Uh, they relied on uh, NGOs and third-party bodies, third-party sources that are questionable 
questionable credibility linked to terrorist groups and such. They never actually visited the site in Khan Sheikhoun where the chemical attack has. Russia has argued that if they are going to prolong the work of the, of the OPCW joint investigative mechanism, that it needs to be cleaned up and it needs to be done in a more professional manner. Um, now, at this point, uh, the resolution from Japan, hoping to extend the OPCW investigation for just one month, has been defeated. Russia and Bolivia voted against it, and it, it is no longer in debate. It has been voted down. So, at the moment, the mandate of the OPCW investigation in Syria is expired. It remains expired. It expired at midnight on Thursday, and it has not been extended. Mm, the third resolution stood down or voted down in just uh, 24 hours. Uh, we'll see if there's uh, any more on how that pans out. Caleb Morpin across the story there in New York.